It's week 45 of A Year of Wisdom. Let's get to reading. Day 311. Job 7. Does not man have hard labor on earth? Are not his days like those of hired laborer? Like a slave longing for the shadow or a hired man waiting for his pay, so I have inherited months of futility, and nights of distress have been appointed to me. When I lay down, I say, when will I rise? The night drags on, and I toss until the day dawns. My flesh is clothed with maggots and clods of dirt. My skin is broken and festering. My days fly faster than a weaver's shuttle and come to an end without hope. Remember my life is but a breath. My eyes will not see goodness again. The eye that sees me now will see me no more. Your eyes will be on me, but I will be no more. As a cloud vanishes and is gone, so one descending into Sheol does not come up. He will never return to his house. His place does not know him. So I will not keep silent. I will speak in the distress of my spirit. I will complain in bitterness of soul. Am I a sea or a monster of the deep that you have set a watch over me? When I say, my bed will comfort me, my couch will ease my complaint. Then you frighten me with dreams and terrify me with visions so that my soul prefers strangulation and my bones death. I despise it. I would not live forever. Leave me alone for my days are a vapor. What is mankind that you magnify him, that you set your heart on him, that you visit him every morning and test him in every moment? Will you never look away from me or let me alone until I swallow my spittle? Have I sinned? What have I done to you, O washer of men? Why have you set me as your target? Have I become a burden to you? Why do you not pardon my transgression and take away my iniquity? For now, I will lie down in the dust, and you will search for me, but I will be gone. Proverbs 7 My son, keep my words and treasure my mitzvot within you. Keep my mitzvot and live my teaching as the apple of your eye. Bind them on your fingers, write them on the tablet of your heart. Say to wisdom, you are my sister, and call understanding your relative. They will keep you from a seducing woman, from the foreign woman with her seductive speech. For at the window of my house, I looked out through my lattice. I saw among the naive, I noticed among the youth, a young man lacking understanding. Crossing the street near her corner, walking in the direction of her house. In the twilight of the evening, in the darkest hours of the night, all of a sudden a woman meets him, dressed as a prostitute and with a cunning heart. She is loud and defiant. Her feet never stay at home. Now in the streets, now in the squares, at every corner she lurks. So she grabs him and kisses him, and with a brazen face says to him, I have sacrificed fellowship offerings. Today I paid my vow. So I've come out to meet you, to seek your presence eagerly, and I found you. I've spread my couch with tapestry of dyed Egyptian linens. I've perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Come, let's drink our fill of love till morning. Let's delight ourselves with love. For my husband is not at home. He's gone on a long journey. He took a bag of money with him. He won't come home until full moon. With her persistent pleading, she entices him. With smooth talk, she seduces him. Suddenly, he follows her like an ox going to the slaughter, like a stag bounding toward a trap. Till an arrow pierces its liver, Like a bird darting into a snare, he never considered his own soul. Now then, sons, listen to me. Pay attention to the words of my mouth. Do not let your heart turn to her ways or stray onto her paths. For many are the victims she has brought down, and numerous are all her slain. Her house is a highway to Sheol, leading down to the chambers of death. Ecclesiastes 7 Better is a good reputation than precious oil and the day of death than the day of birth. Better to go to a house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting, since that is the end of all mankind, and the living should take it to heart. Grief is better than laughter, for though the face is sad, the heart may be glad. The heart of the wise is in a house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in a house of pleasure. 
better to hear a rebuke from the wise than to listen to the song of fools. For like the crackling of thorns under a pot, so is the laughter of a fool. This too is a vapor. For extortion drives a wise man crazy, and a bribe corrupts the heart. Better the end of a matter than its beginning. Better a patient spirit than a proud one. Do not be quickly provoked in your spirit, for anger settles in the bosom of fools. Do not say, Why were the old days better than these? For it is not from wisdom that you ask about this. Wisdom is as good as an inheritance, and even better for those who see the sun. For wisdom is a shelter, as money is a shelter, but the advantage of knowledge is this. Wisdom preserves the life of the one who possesses it. Consider the work of God, for who can straighten what he has bent? In a time of prosperity, prosper. But in a time of adversity, consider. God has made one as well as the other. Therefore, man cannot discover anything about his future. During my fleeting days, I've seen both of these things. Sometimes a righteous one perishes in his righteousness, and sometimes a wicked one lives long in his wickedness. Do not be overly righteous nor overly wise. Why confound yourself? Do not be overly wicked and do not be a fool. Why die before your time? It is good to grasp the one and not withdraw your hand from the other, for the one who fears God will escape both extremes. Wisdom makes a wise man stronger than ten rulers in a city. Surely there is not a righteous person on earth who does what is good and doesn't sin. Also, do not pay attention to every word people say, otherwise you might hear your servant mocking you. For your heart knows that many times you too have mocked others. All this I have tested with wisdom, and I said I determined to be wise, but it was far from me. Whatever it may be, it is far off and very profound. Who can fathom it? So I turned my heart to understanding, to search and seek out wisdom and an explanation of things, and to know the stupidity of wickedness and madness of folly. I find more bitter than death the woman who is a snare, whose heart is a trap, and whose hands are chains. He who pleases God will escape her, but a sinner will be captured by her. Look, said Kohelet, I have discovered this while adding one thing to another to find the scheme of things, which my soul is still seeking, but not finding. I found one upright man among a thousand, but one upright woman among them all have I not found. Only this have I discovered. God made mankind upright, but they went seeking after many schemes. And as always, thank you so much for being here today. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button right there and click the bell if you want notifications and hit that like button too. And I will see you tomorrow. Maranatha. No, without a doubt, you'll carry me out of the storm. I'm standing at the crossroads. I'm lost without a clue. Need a big pink neon sign to show me what to do. I thank you, Lord. It glorifies you when you're the only answer. I praise you, Lord, for holding what's too much for me. And I'm amazed by you, Lord, because nothing's too big and nothing's too small to lay at your feet.